What's up guys, this is your first time changing your own tires? Well, I can teach you how to do that in your own driveway. What you see here is the Vastolan ES2, made from the land of the great, the home of the brave, America. What you're gonna need is either an impact driver or a breaker bar, a torque wrench, some new lug nuts, and of course your new aftermarket wheels with some jack stands and some safety equipments. There are five bolts back there that you need to remove. In order to do that, you need a 21 millimeter deep socket. The first method I'm going to show you is using a breaker bar. And I will show you how difficult it is. Take a look at this. In order to remove it, bring the bar towards you counterclockwise. And as you can see, the entire car is moving. This is a lot of work and I find this very dangerous. So, how do we do this? We use something called an impact driver. It's the same concept, except you don't have to do that much work. You let the driver do all the work for you. Watch this. Put it in right there, and that's it. You see how quick that was? The car didn't move, nothing. All thanks to this handy little tool. When you remove your bolts, do it in a start pattern. So we start from here, 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 here. All right, so let's do this again. That's two, that's three. Look how quick I'm going. That's four. See that handle right there? Anytime you're jacking up the car, raise it up. Also, since we're gonna raise up the front, you wanna put bricks on the rear of your tire. Okay, so what we're gonna do is jack up the car from one side. Now we can remove our fifth lug. Breathe in, hold your breath, make sure your gut is out. And that's it. Then you just roll this somewhere else. All right. That's really dirty and rusted. But anyways, here is the stock tire. And here's the brand new tire. You can already see the difference in meat. 225 for the stock, 245 for my aftermarket. Aftermarket wheels are designed to be broad in general, to fit with any car possible. So what you see here is the hub center. The manufacturers purposely make this bigger than our stock tires. If we measure the aftermarket diameter, it's 2.75 inches. When you measure the stock diameter, it's smaller than 2.75 inches. If we put the wheel on as is, it's gonna potentially cause vibration, especially when you go to high speed. So, what is the solution? These are hub-centric rings. So the number that you see in front of you, 67.1, that's the stock diameter of our wheels. And the other number you see, 73.1, well, that's the diameter of our aftermarket wheels. So how do we use this? It's simple. So when you go back to your rotor, all you do is take this ring and you just place it right here. Now don't just place it right away. What you wanna do is make sure you wanna clean off the surrounding area so it can fit nice and flush. We don't want any jaggedness or lopsidedness. This will cause more vibration. So how do we clean this area? Well, you can use a metal wire brush, soap and water, or any degreaser to remove any rust, dirt, and debris that could be stuck and lodged in there. You take your ring and you place it right in there. Make sure when you place it, it's flush to the surface. You can inspect it by just looking around the uh, circumference over here and everything looks good. What you should also do is get a wheel balance at a professional shop. What they're gonna do is add these tiny little counterweights to have the distribution of mass evenly spread when the tires are spinning. So putting the wheel back can be a little tricky. Now usually you're given new lug nuts to use with your system. And also, you're given a new little tool to help you screw in. So what we're gonna do is just hand thread them on so the wheel stays flush, because right now without any lugs, there's a bit of play. We're just gonna keep it snug. We're not gonna fully tighten it. Take our 21 and our new adapter, put it in just like that. Put it into our impact. We're gonna tighten this with the first couple of clicks. Not all the way. We're gonna start pattern this. Always thread this in by hand first. Just a couple turns, maybe three or four, and then use your impact to slightly tighten it. That's it. Now that the lug nuts are on, raise the car, remove the jacks, and lower it. Lastly, we use a torque wrench to tighten up the bolts, so your wheels will come flying off when you go racing or whatever you do. I am gonna specifically put this to 80 foot-pounds of torque, and then we tighten this from the bottom. After that, put on your 21 mil and your adapter. You wanna tighten this until you hear your first click in a start pattern. And that's how you install new tires. I also went ahead and did the back. Jeez. As a final step, I highly recommend a wheel alignment. What this alignment's gonna do is allow you to drive in a straight line and prevent any premature wear on your brand new tires. 
So this right here is the fender line and as you can see, the tires are sticking outside of it, which I love because it makes the car look much more aggressive compared to stock. Yeah, man. I hope you guys enjoy, like, comment and subscribe.